G'day everyone, thanks for clicking on another Get Up Adventures video. In this one we're going to go over a slightly more advanced fishing rig. So this is the rig I use when I'm chasing King George Whiting out in my boat. Um, we tie a dropper loop, so you can see in our trace line there, it holds our hook nicely away from our trace to eliminate a few tangles. Um, and we also snell our hooks in this video too. So if that's a couple new knots for you, or if you just want to see how I tie them, stick around and we'll get this one tied up. So we're going to make up our trace line now. We come along from the end about 30 centimeters, and then we form a loop or a circle. So now I get a couple fingers in that circle and then we need to twist the two pieces of line around each other about six times. So that now puts some wraps down the line and it also creates a hole in the middle. So through that hole in the middle, we poke the opposite side of our loop and we just hold this with our teeth. Pull on either end and then pull that tight. So that one there is what we call a dropper loop. So once I've tied my first dropper loop on the short end, I then tie just a single overhand knot and this will be for our sinker, but I only do one um, one wrap on this one because I like to be able to get that knot nice and close to our dropper loop that we've just tied. So this allows our sinker and first hook to be on our trace and I trim that tag nice and short only a couple millimeters long to eliminate tangles. So we've got our sinker loop and our first hook loop. We then go along another 25 30 centimeters and we tie ourselves another dropper loop so another circle hold it apart and then twist those two pieces of line together put the opposite side of your loop through that center hole and pull that tight so drop a loop two. We then go up again, another 25 centimeters, and we just tie ourselves a double wrapped overhand knot or loop knot. And this is purely for the snap of our swivel to, um, to connect onto. So there we've got our trace line. Loop for our swivel, hook number one, hook number two, and our sinker loop. So we're going to snell our hook now. I'm just using a bit of pink braid so you guys can see it a bit easier. So we've laid our shank of our hook along our line. We then need to bring the opposite end back to the eye of the hook, leaving it about a centimeter past the, the eye of the hook and that creates us a loop. So we then wrap the loop around the shank of the hook and the piece of line that's laid along the shank and then we pull the bit of line that starts from the eye of the hook so that then ties the knot around the shank pull that up before we tighten that off So that is our hook snelled. So I've just gone and snelled up a couple hooks here um, in mono now. So you can see I've got a loop not quite short on that one. That's about 150 or 15 centimeters long. And the other one is probably about 20 to 25 centimeters long. And you'll see why we've got a short one and a long one when we attach it to our trace. So there we have our rig tied up. So we've got our snap on our top loop, short hook on our first dropper loop, and then long hook on our bottom dropper loop. So and as you can see, that hangs well past 
our sinker. So that drags along in the sand where the whiting like to feed. So there's our rig completely tied up. So I do like to be able to turn my rigs upside down and just have nothing touching anything it shouldn't. So no hook near my swivel um, and no hook being able to reach the other hook. So it's amazing how many times you pull it up and your hooks are hooked together or hooked through your swivel, a place where you don't want them to be. So you should be able to turn your rig upside down and that's a good indication that everything's sitting in the right spot. So you can see as well that loop nut holds our hooks nicely away from everything as well. So that's why those dropper loops are a really good knot to tie um, to connect your hooks to. So the other thing I keep banging on about is tying or pre-tying rigs and putting them in sandwich bags. So here they are. So I've got some rigs there all wrapped up. Um, that's our trace line. So our dropper loops and our sinkers all pre-tied on that one. And in this bag, that's all my hooks. So I've just tied my hooks. I don't tie the loops on there yet. If you tie loops on the end of your hooks, you just ask them to tie knots in the bag. So at least if, they're, um, if there's no loop knot on the end, they literally just slide out to easy as you like. Um, puffer fish love to snip your hooks off when you're out whiting fishing. So you just grab one out your bag, tie your loop knot, put it on, and you're back fishing again. So drive your wife or your partner mad. Sit on the couch pre-tie these, cut your line off, leave it lying on the floor like I do and get sucked up in the vacuum cleaner. The wife hates it. So uh, you can pre-tie a lot of them before you go. It saves you a hang of a lot of time out in the boat. So I hope this has helped you guys out. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you feel the need to. And if you want to see any more videos like this, um, give it a like as well. But appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one.